Today is the 17th of June 2024 and I'd like to um, us to look at um, circular shapes and cones okay so far we've been looking at shapes and um, when you look at the past papers you might get two shapes fused together especially in the higher paper or you might get one shape where you have to use the formula okay but this formula a lot if you write it on your flashcard, you'll be able to see a pattern, okay? And you'll be able to learn them. So, for instance, if you have a question with a sphere, a, a cone, and a circumference, you'll, be, you'll know what to do, okay? If you have a pyramid, a triangular pyramid, you will know what to do. If you have um, a cylinder fused with a cone, you will know what to do. Uh, before I begin, thank you to all my subscribers uh, who are helping um, make us known and keep us on the platform. Please invite other people to subscribe follow us like and uh, please when you receive the video share as well thank you very much um, and if the account is not yours don't misuse somebody's old account ask for permission okay or open your own account and use it to subscribe in the comment section um, I'll always write, please follow my notes last script, okay? My notes, I can say, is very accurate, okay? But there are times, if uh, I'm watching it, or I'm uploading it, and I'm watching the video, and I see a mistake, I'll put it in the comment section, or the next video, will discuss it. Okay, that is the essence because, um, unlike English, uh, when you are writing, even in English, if you get a spelling wrong, you might be marked down for that. Okay, so these are things you want to avoid. So, even though you know the concept, you know what to do, if like the lemonade question okay that's why i don't like editing um my because i want to show you that anybody can make such mistakes okay and at times you might think oh this is easy so you don't check it so please check everything if you are doing an exam even at your classwork or your homework, check, recheck, and recheck. Because of that, even though now I'm distracted because of um, the voting that is coming up, um, the election that is coming up and stuff with the news, when before I even present, I check and recheck. Okay? But times, your eyes will escape this but if assuming this is one or two marks that will push you into a c you don't want to lose it okay so please follow my nose last script okay beware of scammers it's very important don't be scammed okay so recap last video uh, we look at the volume of a pyramid. Uh, so we look at the triangular base where you can find the area of the base uh, multiplied by third at one third and then the height of the pyramid. And then we looked at um, the quadrilateral base so it can be like... Uh, 
a square, a rectangle, anything quadrilateral. Okay, and then we look at um, the pentagon base, the hexagon base, and the hexagon, hep, octo, octagon. Okay, we didn't go that far, but the clue is you need to find the area of the base. Okay, so at times they will give you the area, so like the uh, hexagon. We're giving the area you mot uh, you multiply by one third and then you multiply by the height of the pyramid okay this to get the volume and then you put the right unit okay these are things that you should put on your flash card okay so if you don't have it and you're not year 11 you are going to do a GCSE next year or in November or whenever. Please update it because you have the time to learn from now to then. Especially to learn the topics that you feel you are weak at. Okay. So um, beware of scammers. So this is what we did. Okay. Now, um, what I want to say about some of the topics I haven't done yet is, at times I only have one question, okay? So, I put it, I start making the notes, and you realize that my notes, I bring similar questions. Uh, one, for repetition, and then two, to um, so that I can explain either explanation you didn't get on the first example, you can get it on the second example. Okay, so if I have one question, I would like to wait and see if I can get similar questions under the same topic. Okay, if I can get more than two similar questions, then I'll put those in volumes, like uh, series one, two, three, four, five, six. So that by the time we finish, I've exhausted some of the possible questions that might come. Okay, and then if I have some left over, I I'll just keep it uh, for. Uh, uh, I'm doing some uh, topics now, but not long after that i'll start doing some possible um exam questions again i'll do another set i'm hoping now uh, what i have now will be up to 50 um sets so that this will be our second set okay so there is a wide world of um things i've just put on the platform for your learning Okay, so please share with others as well, so that they can help themselves. Uh, today our mental mass, again, is non-calculator. So, with the pocket money, I'll redo the lemonade questions. Okay, I'll redo that. With the pocket money of £5 weekly, £2 was spent buying bottled water. Okay, so in a week, you always spend two pounds. You give yourself five pound pocket money. You allocate two pounds to buy water. Okay, and then 70p given to charity. How much will be left? So if you give two pounds, if you buy two pound bottle of water, and uh, 70p to uh, the charity of your choice. Then you've used 2 pounds 70 out of your five pound pocket money. In how much you have left? 2 pounds 30 out of the five pounds. Okay, these are trivial. So when you are doing it, you think, oh, you don't need to check please recheck i had to recheck this okay so you have 2.50 left so what i wanted to show you here is 
over a 10 week period you are going to have a uh, 2.30 times 10 which is 33 uh, 23 pounds okay that is 10 weeks so 20 weeks you can double it and you get 46 pounds okay that is about half of the year because the year is 52 weeks so um half is like 26 weeks okay so 20 weeks into the year you can have 46 pounds that is how much far your penis can go assuming you just put that two pound 30 uh, weekly on the side over a period of 52 weeks, 50 weeks, okay, you can have 20 weeks, 20 weeks plus 10 weeks. So 20 weeks for 46 pounds, another 20, 46, 10, you get 115, okay. So 115 pounds, depending if you're a child or an adult or you are a young adult, this will be enough to get to your presence, okay? Even if you are an adult and you have a family, by putting just £2.30 weekly, you can be able to get your turkey and get a few, your Christmas dinner. If you, this £115 is enough, to order a good uh, Christmas dinner uh, from one of the shops, okay? Or you can use it to get some presents for your family. So just by saving two pound thirty thirty a week, you can be able to get that. But assuming you didn't use that for your fifty two weeks and for Christmas. Within 100 weeks, you can get £2.30. So, assuming one year you decided to go low key and you didn't get a uh, much present or you didn't buy much food, you just had takeaway for that Christmas. The following year, you can give with £2.30 that one. Yeah, because if that is 50 weeks, 115, um, 200 weeks, that is like into two years, you have £2.30. You can be able to get some presents uh, for your family and have a good dinner, okay? So this is what I wanted to show you. So at times, it's just putting some few pennies weekly on the side okay and then maybe christmas you can have a good one okay so this is what i wanted to show you this is the mass um for a mental mass even if you're a young adult that is a lot of money for you to get some good presents for the lovely people around you the week is i hope it makes sense okay i've checked this so i don't think i have any a thing to correct on that but we we'll look at the limitation again okay now today we are looking at school a circular um circle yes it, it was supposed to be sphere and goals that was my topic topic but I realize that the questions I have have to do with um, circles and cone. So because of this, I had to go and buy a cone in a chips to have a good look at the cone. So, um, and, and as students, their project, uh, they had a mini project to make cones to make a cone container out of a card, okay, or out of a plastic card, okay. The circular card shape was 12 centimeters. 
So this is the card. It's circular. There. And he measured out a uh, 2.70 degrees. This is not to scale. Okay. The angle of the light sector is 2.70. So this as students use the a larger part of the sector to make the cone okay so if you look at the diagram here from here to here is 2.70 they didn't use that we are told in the question that they use the major sector okay so if they ask us to find the arc length then we are going to find the arc length a b of the major sector not a b of the minor sector okay so the first question is so when he took this part out he managed to make a cone okay if you go and buy uh, go to the chip shop and buy a, a cone of chips look at how they do it and look and and when you finish it then just have a good look okay or you can cut a circular bit out okay not to scale uh, get up the, the angle and try into your cone you will come up with this you have a circular base and then the radius of the circle becomes the slanted height of the cone so here is 12 centimeters so that is your 12 centimeters this from the center the middle of the cone to the center and then to the base there's a 90 degrees here have a look okay um yeah so that is how it is. So I've drawn it for you here. So have a good look. Find uh, the arc length of the card used to make uh, the cone. So first of all, we want to find this length from here to here. And we've been told it's the major ones. And we are supposed to leave our answer in pi okay so now the arc length here is the theta over 360 times 2 pi r okay we are using 270 because we are told the student use the major sector assuming we are told they use the minor sector then we subtract um 270 from 360 what angle is left is what we we'll use here but here we are told they use this part here okay and then we do the um, cone here so the arc length a b will be theta over 360 times 2 pi r and we are supposed to leave our answer in um, pi so 270 over 360 times 2 pi r. r r is the radius of the circular board the art student use with this 12 this r here becomes a slanted height of the cone okay if um, we get it into a cone shape Okay, so be aware of that. Now, so they said, um, so 270, so here we've set the equation, we've fitted what we need. So everything else is calculation. If it's a calculator paper, you use your calculator. If it's a non-calculator paper, then you, but this, you can use non-calculator okay so the zeros will cancel out they said 12 years so if i cancel this one into 36 3 okay 
So 3 into 27, I'm left with 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So my answer here is 18 pi. Okay. Centimeters. Because my unit here is in centimeters. Okay. So the arc length from here to all the way here. Okay. Is 18 pi. That one here. Okay, centimeters. So that's the first one. Now the second one, it says, the second question says we should calculate the base radius R of the cone. Now this is what we need. So now the cone, after we've made it, this is the radius. Okay, now this radius is on the circular part of the cone. From here all the way round is the circumference. So to find this R, we are going to equate um, the arc length because we know that we use the arc length here, okay, to find, to make this cone. And then we are going to equate this to the circular part, the circumference of the cone, which is 2 pi r, and then we'll use that to find um, the base r. I hope I'm clear on that. Okay. So now, the radius of the base, as I've always explained to you, is 2 pi r. Okay, 2 pi r is the circumference of the base of the cone. Okay, this one here, 2 pi r. Okay, which we got from the arc length. And then, equals to, uh, this equals to uh, our 18 pi, which we found, the arc length. Okay, now, if we cancel the pi, so this is why maybe they my answers to leave our answer in pi. If we cancel the pi, we have 2r here equals 18. So r will be 9 centimeters. Okay. Now our second example. This, they use the minus sector. I didn't bring out all the questions, but after writing the first question out for you and explaining they use the minus sector but in the question they gave us the major sector so we are going to use the angle of the minus sector which is 360 minus 300 which will be 60 okay so i've written here major sector minus sector use okay so we'll use uh, six, uh, 60 degrees so here again to find the arc length will be 60 over 360 times 2 pi r so 60 over 360 times 2 pi r our r here is 5 centimeters okay so if you do this right and you cancel out, you get 5 over 3 pi in centimeters because it's length, your arc length is length. Or you can use the, if it's a calculator paper, you can use the calculator to put your answer in decimal. But looking at the question, there's another question coming up. And if it's an exam, I wouldn't want to be wasting a lot of time. This is good enough. My answer is in pi, so I'll just leave it. Put my unit if I've not been given. Look, the unit is in length. The radius is in length. So my answer should be in length. Okay. Then I'll go to the next question. And it says, find the radius of the base of the cone okay which i showed you this radius here this radius here 
okay that re that bit that's what we are finding okay that is the second part so two pi r which is the circumference around the cone equals um our answer that we call uh, our five over three here okay so three can uh, multiply through so we have three times two is six by r equals to five r we cause it to get rid of this three so the pies will cancel out so in r i have five over six okay centimeters or if i have time 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.8 centimeters to one decimal place okay so these questions are easy all you need to do is to remember the formula and this is where your flash tank can help you so if you've been writing this formula out for like two or three years and you've been using them then by the time you get to year 11 you should, you, you, you should um, your photographic memory should be activated for you to understand some of this yeah. let's look at um, another example okay the same example here okay here they use the major sector okay so we are going to use the big part here to do the cone so 275 so this is how in real life this is an art project but in mathematics you can connect it to it okay and use it and if maybe in uh, a corporation they want to do something with the code guess by looking at this mathematics they know how much you go in how much profit they will make okay that's why i personally don't agree with people who say that oh education is not important no even with your money okay you need education to know how to use money otherwise if you get that money it will leave you some people can't even understand a uh, differentiate times and season seasons even though they are educated and some of them are not even okay because they can uh, connect that is half term so because of that somebody is not going out and they can connect that that is term time so because of that so when they come around you and you are organized they think you are not doing anything but they don't know that there is more into life than getting money you need to plan as well so if you are well planned with all your issues and trouble and they come around you and everything look peaceful around you they think oh you are not doing anything but if they live with you for the next um one hour and um, one week they might want to go away because they realize that a lot is in more mental planning to focus and look ahead than just going to do something and ending up in the pub and drinking and waking up the following day okay this one i'm talking to uh, people out there so at times people don't understand that there is more to lifestyle than just uh going out and doing a work if you, if you have a job if you don't plan you always come to one that's why people win the lottery with all their billions in the end they they, they don't have any wisdom to use it and somebody might be there like what i showed you in your mental map all they have is pennies and they put them together and over a period of 100 weeks they can have a very good peaceful nice christmas with their family and somebody who has told all year long 
will be like, how am I doing this? And they are having that. It goes beyond long-term planning. Okay, it's not just one day. It's not just one day. I'm just going out to work. Go and end up in the pub drinking and then waking up. Okay, I'm talking to adults here. My platform is for adults and these are tips. So, this is what I'm sharing with you. Okay. So, um, so here they use the major sector. So you are going to use the angle. You have to look out for some of these things, okay? If they use the major sector and you use the minor sector angle, you will get, you would have used the right formula, but again, you will get it wrong. So open your eyes, okay? When you are solving this kind of questions, read and reread, okay? The question might come like how, uh, the first example I wrote the whole thing okay so now 270 divided by 360 times 2 pi r okay so 270 no it's 275 sorry divided by 360 times 2 pi r and your r here is eight centimeters and when you form the cone because that is 90 that is your slanted height okay so now let's do the arc length first this length from a all the way to b e. so 275 times 2 pi r okay our r here is um eight centimeters okay so now 55 so i've cancelled out and in the end i got 110 over 9. so 275 divided by 360 times 2 pi and it's 8. okay so you can cancel out and you get 110 over 9 pi or you can get 12.2 pi if you use the calculator and it's arc length, so just you need to be centimeters. And then the last bit, you are going to find R, the R, this part of the circumference. So you are going to equate 2 pi R equals to this um, uh, 110 over pi, okay? which is the arc length, it's the same arc length here, which you used to do the code here, okay. So, I hope I've explained the question properly that you understand, okay. So, 110 over 9 pi equals, uh, uh, so it will should be equal to um, your 2 pi r, Okay, so 2 pi r, okay, so if you do that, you are going to get um, the 2 pi r equals 110 over 9 pi. The um, pi will cancel out, so you have 18 r equals 110, okay, which is here. So you have 18 r equals 110 so yeah no 16 so you have 18 so 18 your r will be 18 110 over 18 okay or 110 Is six point one. Six point one. Okay. Hundred and nine times uh two is eighteen there. Okay. So you have the nine 
Okay. So this is nine, not eight. Okay. And then you have six point one centimeters. Okay. So these are the things uh, masks can do for you, even in big operation. This is how they um, do stuff. Okay. They don't just get up and do stuff. Some of them, the containers and stuff that you see in shops, most of them, they have calculated it mathematically to find the volume, the height, what they can use to gain, to maximize their profit. Okay. So, um, thank you very much for watching the video with me today. And I'll see Please, this last bit here, go and do it, okay? 9 times 2 is 18, not 16. So, instead of 110 over 16, it's 110 over 18, okay? Um, this is why, because this morning, everything is um, silent, once I'm presenting, there's no background noise, so I can easily see that. So you end up getting um, 6.1 centimeter, and it's length, your R is length. So this here, this here, this radius here on the cone is 6.1 um, centimeters, okay? Please subscribe, invite others to subscribe, like, share, follow, nice comment will be appreciated. Um, if the account is not yours, open your own account or ask permission before you use somebody else's account to subscribe. Follow my Nostra script, okay? And also, beware of scandals. Take good care of yourself online. I'm not soliciting for any funds, so don't give any money to anybody under this platform. Other platforms are doing that, but we are not doing that here. I'm not doing that here. And please, thank you very much for um, watching today's video with me. And I'll see you in the next.